Programs Director and Managing Editor of Day to Fight, Adenike Aloba, in an interview on Plus Politics, says there is some form of disconnect between online campaigns and the actions taken about 2023 elections. Emphasis was also made on the need for voter education and questioning uh, certain electoral laws. Take a listen. And I think that if we can rethink our strategies in terms of engagement with people, in terms of engagement with citizens, in terms of how we present those conversations, in terms of how we help them to understand what is critical, perhaps we can still turn the tide. Because clearly there is some disconnect between all of the, uh, all of the campaigning and all of the advocacy that is happening right now and actual actions. Mm -hmm. We need to find what that missing ingredient is. Um, there have been conversations that this is, this is important voter education, literally telling people this is why you must vote, this is how to do the vote, this is where to do the vote, these are the security uh, uh, issues that may happen and this is how to protect yourself. These are all theories that I think is worth pursuing for civic space actors, if we're actually going to see this favor, especially on social media, mm. we're going to see this energy translate into something tangible in 2023. Our choice in 2023 is not likely to turn things around 300. I mean, 90 degrees is an, a high estimation. So that is why our campaign needs to carry a more long-term focused message to say that, guys, get your PVC, but get involved. Get your PVC, but join a political party. Get a PVC or start a political party if you can afford it. And we need to design campaigns that is not just looking like at the activities of 2023 elections, but beginning to query election laws and how it is upheld. There's one reality that makes it challenging for people to join political parties, to start political parties, to be actively uh, uh, political. And that's the money factor, the finance. Who is looking at the financing of political parties and how can we begin to mount campaigns to ensure that beyond 2023, we can actually have a system that checkmates these practices, that, that creates guardrails, that allows for increased access and increased participation because i feel and this is a personal opinion now i feel that if we don't turn down the favor of oh 2023 might be doomsday we may be that action that you know language may be counterproductive driving fear much more than it'll drive participation mm. hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.